Hi, my name is Connie Dale, and today I'll be talking about genetically engineered foods. Throughout my presentation, I'll be looking at, at defining what genetically, genetically modified foods are, as well as looking at the positive and negative aspects that it brings at a socio-economic environmental aspect of the food system. I chose this topic as I found it is important and relevant today, and it affects all aspects of the food system. From the farmers and producers growing the food, to marketers and managers involved in the process of its production, and to the people that are consuming the foods. Food in general affects the health and well-being of all individuals. Sustainability of our resources is affected by the food and its production, and the economy of all countries are affected by food as it's a commodity that is exported around the world. Therefore, genetically modified foods affects these areas too. Genetic modification is a technology that is involved in manipulating the organism of a food. By inserting a gene from a different organism into a food's genome for it to express a different characteristic. The aim of genetically modifying foods is to improve the quantity of the food's production as well as the quality of the food. Throughout the, throughout the world, there are conflicting views on gene genetically modifying our foods, and this is what I'll be looking into in the, next, in the rest of this presentation. Benefits to, ge to ge genetically modifying foods involve food security. For the growing population, it's a great concern that f there isn't enough food to feed everybody. But by developing stronger genotypes that are resistant to diseases and insects, as well as making these more adaptable to a range of different conditions in different countries, high yields are potential, and it might make food more available and more affordable around the world. Food safety is another concern, but by making crops and animals resistant to pests and disease will mean that less sprays will need to be used, and this will mean that there's less cost to the environment as well as less residues being present in our foods that we eat. Enhancing the nutrient value of our foods is another great benefit of genetically modifying our food. An example of this is the vitamin A deficiency that affects many countries throughout the world. This deficiency means that people are going blind and also dying. By including vitamin A into the staple foods of those countries, for example into rice, this would mean that, that more people are able to not, not be deficient in this vitamin and not be affected by this, this crisis. Disadvantages, however, of genetically modified foods cannot be ignored. There is unpredictability that comes along with changing the nature of, a, of, of the biology of an organism. It's a new technology and the repercussions are still unknown. It could cause new allergies as well as have effects to our immune system and there are fears that it could cause cancer. With it being a new technology, there is poor regulation throughout government. And currently, there are people eating gen genetically modified foods without their knowledge. There is, is, is expense to small-scale farmers who are being forced to compete with these genetically modified crop farmers and take on these more expensive methods. There is fear that wild weeds could, could be produced through wild variants of genetically modified crops and that these wild weeds would need even harsher chemicals to make the crops grow properly. With overproduction that is likely to occur after, after many crops are genetically modified, there is a fear that, that there will be soil degradation, which will affect the soil um, quality. It's likely that there will be more monoculture of crops grown as well, which will decrease the biodiversity. To conclude, genetic engineering is changing the natural biology of an organism. Benefits include food security, resistance to insects and disease, and enhancing food's nutrients. The negative effects, however, are too serious to ignore, and these include allergies, cancers, potential wild weeds, farmers, and environmental costs. So individuals, as well as governments, really need to look at what, what their values are to decide whether they go for genetically modified foods or not. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation and thanks for listening.